You may be dealing with something like this in your own neighborhood. You're living in cars speeding down the street. One group of homeowners say this problem is out of control, and they've got the video they want you to see. Brooke Rogers goes to that Harvest Hill neighborhood for us tonight, right between the Dallas North Tollway and Midway Road, where some people told her they simply do not feel safe in their own homes. Plowed through here, taking out part of the dining room wall. On an afternoon in February, Susan Martinez heard a boom coming from the front of her house. There was like an explosion, and so I got up and went running in there to see what was going on. And what did you see? Um, the truck with the guy in it was in our sitting room. Nearly six months later, the repairs aren't yet finished. Nearly every neighbor here has a similar story. At least 11 cars have hit property on this stretch over the last 10 years. The speed limit is 30, but neighbors say that's rarely followed. We need help to stop these people that come speeding down our street. James Humpert's surveillance cameras captured the most recent hit and run. Early Saturday morning, a driver wandered off of Harvest Hill Road and slammed into Humpert's brother's parked Jeep. He worries for the children in the neighborhood. There are, and people don't let them out their front yard, front yards because of the way traffic is. The neighbors have signed a petition and appealed to the city. Council member Gay Donnell Willis says a construction project is concluding in the area, and then the transportation department will evaluate and look into options such as speed cushions or additional signage. They don't just take a cookie cutter approach. They're going to go and assess exactly what the traffic counts are, what the behaviors currently are that need to be modified so they can come up with the best solution for Harvest Hill. She also says she's asked DPD to add focus to the area in the meantime. Neighbors say it's a matter of life or death. Someone's going to get killed. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.